Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to change the oil burner nozzle to a new one. So you will need the new oil burner nozzle, which is uh, the, with the correct um, markings. This is a Danfoss um, 60S 0.5 oil burner nozzle. And uh, you will need to locate your oil burner. In this case, this is an Oilon Junior Pro, but uh, the process will be quite similar with other oil burners as well. So first, before starting, I'm making sure that the power to the oil burner is off. So this is already in the off position. And next, mm. I will still make sure that the I will disconnect the power cable here. So there's a little clip here. And now it won't get power even if somebody would turn the power switch on by mistake from the wall. Next, oh, we need to remove the oil burner. I could remove it just from the other side by pulling out this clip here and I can turn it open and the oil burner nozzle is here but since I won't have very much space for tools on this side and I could open it from the other side but there's not that much space uh, there either so I will take it uh, fully off and um, here we can see that the old nozzle is a Danfoss and uh, one, one of the sides it says here 60s and I guess it's <clears throat> just below we can check that it's an 0.5 So next I will remove the other clip here and then I can lower the oil burner. On the ground. Now with the oil burner on the ground we can use uh, 16 millimeter wrench so with one wrench we'll need to hold the the nozzle assembly here and with the other wrench we can loosen up the nozzle Now with the nozzle loose and just roll it out. Try not to bend the these uh, things they are giving the uh, spark for the for the nozzle. So Here on the nozzle we can see it is an 0.5 and uh, 60S, so the same as Same as we have on the on the new one, uh, S60 and 0.5. 
but different it's nice and clean so next let's roll the new nozzle in the burner needs to be tightened up and that's it so now we can reassemble or lift the, the burner back in into place Don't forget to put the power cable back in. So now with the power cable snapped back into place we can turn the power on and start the burner. That's it for this video. Hope this was helpful. Uh, I'll leave links in the, my description for other oil burner related videos. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.